Why do we awaken through suffering? Why can't we just take a pill and awaken or make a spell and awake straight away? Let's find out. Hello again. I am Nicoletta Borosano, psychologist, therapist, and educator. And I love to awaken real transformation in happiness seekers that are navigating painful transitions in life and are ready to change. I hear often, I wish my mother would awaken, or I wish my father would be more conscious. I wish my partner, you know, would be more present. I wish my children would be more mindful. But as you imagine, all of these remain just wishes because people do not respond to us as we demand them to. If they have no real benefits, they will never respond back. And in real truth, why would someone really awaken? Because when you do, you feel all the hurt. You feel the pain of the entire humanity. You feel it all, and it's very unpleasant. So to a certain extent, we do not awaken as a way of self-preservation, as a way of survival and self-protection. And let me explain what I'm saying. If you are not ready to awaken, if you are not ready to feel the pain, your mind will never allow you to do it. This program mind, which we call the ego, this program mind is really lazy. It does not want to be challenged, does not want to change. It really likes comfort. So the most important aspect is the readiness for awakening. But is it only the mind that needs to awaken? No, it's not, because awakening does not take place in the mind. We do make sense of the awakening process through our mental processes. But the awakening is of a spiritual nature. It takes place in the heart, in the soul, in the, in the spirit or in the energy or whatever you want to call it. Awakening is happening when the body and the mind ache so badly that they need to transcend that pain. And where do they go? They go beyond the material world into that dimension where everything is peaceful, where performance cannot be measured because we are all the same, where competition does not exist because we are all one, where loneliness does not exist because we are all connected. Awakening removes all the masks from our face so we can open our eyes to look and see. So what is this awakening about? When, when is that happening? And, and what do you see when it's happening? What do you see when you're awakening? Well, in my experience, awakening is a moment of magic. It's when the body and the mind and the soul unite together into a common experience, into a sense of coherence. And it happens when the body and the mind give up the resistance and allow the spirit to, to fully embody them. An awakening brings pure conscious awareness. Even for a few seconds, it's magical. And that happens when the program mind is not in control anymore. Where we experience life in a, in a very profound way, from a place of acceptance and tolerance, from a place of kindness and love and compassion, from a place of gratitude and appreciation for life. Where we do not need to know anything and we don't need to do anything we don't need to have anything and we don't fear anything because everything is exactly as it has to be awakening is changing our existence completely it's actually moving the focus from the limited material world and, and mental world through which we perceive life into a realm of of infinite possibilities and life is really blossoming after the chaos preceding, you know, the awakening. So why can't we just find a way to awaken, like take a pill or make a spell? Well, we haven't found a chemical substance to be able to trigger that kind of awakening. Although it is argued that, the, you know, some psychedelics or the tea of ayahuasca that is used in the shamanic ceremonies in the Amazon, they can actually lead to an altered state of consciousness. However, it is not evidence that such experience leads to a real spiritual awakening that changes the lives of, of all of those involved. So we, 
we need to look at the most interesting part to notice that we seem to be using this vehicle of, of the mind with the body in it uh, to go through that spiritual awakening, which is natural, it's expected, obviously, because the spirit embodied this, this kind of body. But as long as we are not connected, as long as we are not aware of, of the other dimension that really transcends the material world, it is very unlikely that we will experience something of a spiritual nature. I mean, the use of the shamanic incantations, um, you know, they are also used in, to alter levels of consciousness, but the stories that we hear are lost in the mental database, in the mind. So whatever happens there throughout that ritual, it's just an experience. It's nothing comparing to the, the billions of experiences we've had throughout our 30, 40, 50 years of life. And then they, these experiences, these rituals cannot actually erase our conditioning or our entire memory. And even if these incantations would, would maybe, I don't know, rewire slightly the brain without the consistent practice of, of mindful living, a high level of consciousness cannot be maintained. So ultimately, it's not a pill or a spell that we all need. It's, it's a deeper connection with our souls. It's a regular practice of, of presence. Yeah, it's, it's an openness towards this dimension that is transcending the physical world. Awakening seems to, to follow stages of chaos and turmoil in life. So watch those. <laughs> and if you find yourself through a transition, like a breakup or a divorce, like a, I don't know, career crossroad, or maybe some illness or a significant loss, then your ability to hold on to joy is decreasing, you know. You, you can't tap into happiness and contentment like, like you would in a, in a different circumstance in our life, in your life. So practice uh, solitude, practice self-reflection, take some distance from your body and your mind, and that will definitely help you in your awakening process. It's going to be unpleasant at times, to say the least, because it, you, you will confront all your fears, all your, all your, all your past, or everything that happens, all your luggage. But when you come out of it, well, a new life will be unfolding in front of you. And that's the life you will create for yourself. And that's the life that you really deserve. I hope you found this helpful. Let me know if you did. Thank you so much to all of you subscribing and supporting this channel. Until next time, stay present.